Hey guys, we're at um, Glenwood Baptist Church Cemetery in Powell, Tennessee, suburb of Knoxville, Tennessee. Um, the sign said that it was 1936, but I really believe it was early 1800s that the, the cemetery was founded. Um, it's got some pretty old graves in it. Some history, of course, or I wouldn't be here. Um, but we're going to try to hit up some of these. It may be a two-parter because it is a quite a large cemetery. And um, from what I'm told, the church is actually not even affiliated with the cemetery, but it's still called Glenwood Church Cemetery. So uh, let's get started and see what we can find. Um, right here we got Humphreys. I'm, I'm not really going to say a lot if it's pretty clear you guys can see it um, like I said it may be a two-parter because it is a very big cemetery hopefully it won't run into a three-parter because I don't want to you know bore you to death and of course I'm here where the Sun is gonna shadow so maybe if we get on up through there it won't be so bad this is canon you can see that lolita you can see the shadow of my camera <laughs> i've got it on a little tr tripod so it would um, not go off and on on me like it usually does because when i hold it sideways i always mess it up um but uh the last time we was here, we tried to go through here and this very, very nice man stopped to help us. And he gave us uh, a little bit of history to the cemetery, what people's buried here. Um, and I'll try to remember some of it. He has a lot of family here. Uh, this one's pretty unique, buddy boy, uh, Henry H. Hearst, just two, two years old. Oh, that's sweet. Um, there's a flag on the ground. Would you care to pick that up? Um, I can touch on some of the history here, maybe. If I'm wrong, feel free to correct me. It's okay. <laughs> Won't be the first time. Uh, that one's really weathered. But, yeah, he stopped here and... Um, I tried to, there we go, I tried to, um, get some of it, but I just had to come back today and redo the, the whole entire video because he was going so fast and my brain doesn't work that fast, so I'll try to remember some of the tombstones that he had told me about that I, I found was pretty interesting. Uh, we got Bayless here. Let's see. That leaf, well, the leaves keep blowing on the ground. And trying to go as fast as I possibly can and get to some of the, the ones that he told me about that I hope that I remember. Um, and over here. I forget I got those. Did I get those? I'll get them again. Yeah, I did. Okay. <sighs> Sorry, I get lost. Yeah. There is some stones in here, but like that one's broken. There's nothing on them. This is a Alice Marie Boyd, and she was born in 1902 and died in 1919. Don't see anything else around hers. Hers. A lot of Hearst in this cemetery, I've noticed. David Newton. 
he was a World War One veteran. Here is Albert Sanders Hurst, U.S. Navy veteran. We got Dr. Frank Arnold, 1867 to 1917. And I guess that's his wife. It looks like Annie Mills, 1868 to 1951. I'll read the ones that may be hard for you guys. Bessie, Jeanette Arnold, and Herbert Roland Arnold. Arnold. Okay, so that was a baby. So it must be mother and, and son. No, 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 sorry. That was a two year old, 1896 to 1898. So that was a brother and sister. Sad. Newer one. We're not too far off of, um, far, far from Emory Road, Powell High School. Um, so I, I got that one. Okay. Some more arms. This one is, hmm. I see Dorothea. Kavanaugh, Arnold, but I can't, maybe Cletus, Cleo, what, something Arnold. 1889 to 1923, he died. Clebo, Kleba, uh, it's hard to read that one. But Dorothea, she died in 1922. Can you? Cleo? That, that's Cleo V. Cleo, okay. Cleo V. Arnold. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Oh, here he is. Okay. So, fireman, third cavalry, U.S. Navy? Nope. No? Yeah, fireman, third class. Third class, okay. <laughs> U.S. Navy. That was my rank. And he, he died in 1923. Hmm. Okay. Mills. This one is a Rachel. Yeah, you can, I can see it when I look through my camera a lot better than in person, actually. It's kind of weird that I can see it like that, but the camera, I can get my shadow out of the way. Uh, this is Nielsen, so let's go on the other side and see who we are. Got Robert and Lisa. And Davis. And uh, oh, okay. Right here. That's a Mary Ruth Cardwell Davis. She passed away in 1974. And I don't see an, another one for that. These are kind of unique tombstones. I mean, they're here and you just look straight down. But they're built up. I like that. Um, this one is very weathered. It's had something at some point <laughs> on it, but I see absolutely nothing but mills. So maybe it's just a, a family stone, mills. But there's no names. If they are, they are completely gone. All right. Um, did I get this? Yes, I got this one. Okay, let's see. How about if I do... I'm trying to figure out which way to go. I'm going to go right back down this way and do the other side. Like I said, this video is going to be long. And I'll apologize in advance. Uh, we got Bartlett. Isaac and Minerva Bartlett. I don't know. Maybe. There is a Civil War soldier. Maybe him. 
because I do. I, he, yeah, supposedly he was buried in his uniform. And I do see a Confederate flag there, so that may be him. I don't see a, a marker like, you know, military stone. So there is a guy that uh, fought in the Civil War that's buried here with his uniform on. So that was a little bit of history that we got. Um, I get these. Dillinger. And I got Ross. And I got those. So I'm going to go on up here. It actually turned it out to be a really pretty warm day. As cold as it's been lately. Frank Burrell uh, died in 1932. And his wife Ella Norwood Burrell, 1926. This is Odessa and O.P. Brown. Maggie Lewis Tillery. R.E. Tillery. Warden, uh, Julie, Julia Tillery Evans and Bernita Lee Evans. Huh. Hey. They must have been twins, you think? They had to be twins. All right. There's Tillery Stone. This is a big Tillery Stone right here. Nice and bold letters. I love that. I'll get I'll get to their family here. I'm trying to go row by row. Bale family family. Um over in here we got Catherine Bell 1911 when she passed away John Bell 1914 just a child I think you guys can see these pretty good uh, let's see this one is. another John Bell passed away in 1961 and then over here's the Tillery family Charlotte Melinda, Samuel Alton, and Lassie Ross. Uh, she was the wife of S.A. So Samuel Alton, his wife. All right. We're going up here. We got Collier. Uh, can you get your little scraper and yeah. scrape that for me? I can see it. And it looks like James D. and he was a doctor. Maybe. Get that scratched off a little bit, some of that moss. Yeah, there we go. James D. Collier. November 30th, 1858 to October no. mm -hmm. 1937. And then his wife, Annie Eliza Fox. 1857 to 1920 and he was a doctor we got Odie Beeler 1899 to 1912 it looks like and then we have a Dora Beeler and an S Carter Beeler there's no dates on those at all now this has got guys got a big old stone a Donald Collier uh Died wearing the family flower. No. No? Wearing the... The family. Does that not say? Actually, something of a blameless life. Oh, I see now. Died wearing the fair flower of a blameless life okay, okay. in 1910. Uh, number 32. And I think... Okay, so he was a teacher, justice of the peace. Attorney at law, legislator, judge of the court. So he he had a lot of uh, things going on. He was a well-established man. Maxwell Brown Collier and Alice McBath Collier. 
Maxwell and Alice Collier again. I wonder why they have two different dates. What's that? No, that's the daughter. Sorry, I did not see the top. But there's a top. My something McBath. Ivy. It's Ivy McBath, and that's their daughter, Maxwell and Alice. And there's her headstone. If I'd have just looked, her footstone. Ivy. Pretty nice. This one's Clio. And he was the son of Mr. M. R. and A. D. Collier. 1903 is when he passed away. Mary Bradley. James Bradley. Nanny Bradley. Dewey Dixon, World War II, Korea, Vietnam. That is, and Ruby Bowen Dixon. I don't think, she, she doesn't have a death, a death date, so she may still be with us. And I don't mean anything bad by that. Glenn Keck. Mabel Bowen. Frank Bowen. Let me go down here. Did I get that one? Did I totally miss it? I did. Oh, uh, oh, okay, that's <laughs> I can't see it. It's gone. It's totally, totally weathered away. Henrietta Peoples. We got Raymond Edward Grove, World War Two. Right? Yep. And there's George and Mary Hallgrove. Wallace Grove. Sexton, Thomas, and Mary Jane. Uh, Mary Galt, 1919. John Galt, 1915. Here's a Civil War soldier. I believe it's a John C. Galt, same guy, 1st Tennessee Cavalry, Company G. I mean, maybe he was the one that was buried with, uh, with his, his, you know, uniform. But there is one in this area that the, the guy told me about. This is Charles Foster, son of F S, no, C F and. F.S. maybe, Duncan, 1911. Charles, Helen Faith, Duncan. Virginia, Grace, Duncan. James Lester. I'm gonna get this one cleaned off so I can read it. There we go. And over here in the woods, we got Faulkner, Ida L. and Luther A. And here, in this little pinned up lot, is Ramsey. And so we got Edna Faulkner Ramsey. And I'm going to see if there's another one here. Nope. I don't see another one here. So that must be the only person in that little area that's been in. Okay, we have a sexton over there, Addie. And here's a sexton, Mary Fern and Martha Fay. So they was the infants of Mr. and Mrs. L. F. Sexton. And if you ask me why I'm talking so low, there's a house right there. See those. This is a Rhodes. Looks like Ella Sexton Rose, and she died in 1919. Oops. Oops, there's nothing on that one. Um, 
don't want to get too far away. I'm trying to do both sides of the road at once. Harriet Simmons, 1912. Perry Simmons, 1918. Mary Simmons, 1945. That one is way too weathered. Back there is H.N. Davis. Perry Simmons. There's a Simmons, couple of Simmons families there and I'll get to those in a minute. Trying to James Grove. Carl. Carl B. Grove. And Nail, maybe? Yeah. Nail Grove. Raymond. Edward Grove. Minnie Reynolds Grove. Okay, Raymond Grove was U.S. Army, World War II. And there's George and Mary Hall Grove. Uh, Wallace Grove. Grove. I'm sure if I got that. Now go ahead and get it again. It's not going to hurt to say. Now I'm going to go step across the little lane here and get some more. If you can't tell, I love to go in graveyards because I love to find history. Uh, there's Clyde and Berta Hawkins, or Haw yeah, Hawkins, pretty, pretty tombstone. Uh, this is going to be hard to see. You see how many trees, uh, the leaves is on the shelf. So we'll get what we can. I don't feel uh, myself trying to get it. This is um, Easter, Easter Day, Easter Day, Nancy Hancock Easter Day. Lee A and Ida May. And this is a homemade grave. Sam Godfrey, 1962. Did I get these? Can't read these. Okay, Elizabeth Jane Loveday. Granny Jane is what they called her. They called her Granny Jane. Ashes of Samuel David Perry. James Perry. This looks like Margaret Perry. Jimmy Perry, Jr. Right. I don't know if I got this guy here. I don't think I did. This is Charlie Foster. There's somebody here, but that's way too gone for me to read. Um, and if I miss some people, it's only because I've looked over them with all these leaves on the ground. I'm sorry, I don't mean to miss anybody. One thing I noticed about this cemetery in particular, some of them is facing east, some of them's facing south. Some, I mean, they're just every which way. So, we got brown, we got kid, George and Martha Ann, Mabel Samuel, and Samuel was Tennessee, Sadler, 12th Calvary, and he passed away in 1947. He was born in 1888. What's a saddler? Probably made saddles. I don't know. You taught him how to saddle? I don't know. Gladys Alley. Bessie Alley. Thomas Alley. Nancy Alley. And Mary. And Mary does not have anything on her. Um. Here we got Emma A. Cooper. And when I say you never know who you might find, who can recognize that name? Archie 
James Campbell. Yep, that's Archie Campbell of Hee Haw. Buried right here in Powell. He my, was- My favorite story that he told was three little pigs backwards. Pigs Little Three. Pigs Little Three, yeah, that was pretty <laughs> funny. And his wife, Mary Lee, um, he was actually born in Bulls Gap. Yep. But lived here and passed away here in Powell. Um, so, yeah. Um, you know, not a, not a big, huge fancy stone or anything like that. Doesn't matter about that, but yep, right here he is, Archie Campbell. So we have a famous person here, which I think is really cool. Okay, over here we got, I'm going up and down, up and down, Timmy Lee Hawkins, infant baby, Mildred and Jack Hawkins, and Dr. John Ragsdale, Ragsdale, 1826 to 1898. Ragsdale, I like that R they've got on top of his grave. That's cool. Right. This is a Charles Wood. Died in 1917. I think you guys can see some of these. I won't say the names, but you can see them pretty good. Yeah, once we, we do try to come to these, if we see something falling or Flipped over, we will try to fix them. But other than that, we won't call to nobody's grave. Um, okay, Fred Cooper here was private U.S. Army, private first class U.S. Army, World War II. And he was a Bronze Star and Purple Heart Medal recipient. Wow. He's, I don't know why he has no flags. I don't know, but that guy sure deserved it. All right, right here we got Mildred Lewis. I guess you all can see that one pretty good. This is a bishop, Margaret Wood and John Elroy. 1881 and 1933 is their death dates. And here we have Cheryl Ann Helms, nicely and Matthew Aaron nicely. Naomi and John Wood Carnes. Naomi Wood Carnes and John Wood. Wood, yeah, not Woods, but Woods. Somebody puts the S in them, don't. Okay, this is Carnes, this is a Margaret and Emma May. 1897 to 1991, Margaret states, and September of 1879 and eight, uh, 1973 was Emma. So, I'm um, with Jesse's sisters, maybe? Okay. Sisters there? I don't know, I don't like doing math in my head. All right, we did that one. I'm gonna go on down and do this other row. The trees are beautiful, look at that. Look at the sun peeking through the trees right there. Absolutely beautiful. I know I'm wasting time. I'm sorry. I'm like a dog seeing a squirrel, you know. Theodore Wood. Hazel Lynn Wood. See what I mean about some of them facing one way and some of them facing the other way. Uh, this is Samuel, Albert, and Sarah Effie Wood. I think you guys can probably see the dates on those. Bud Samuel Wood. Uh, these are unreadable. I, I, there's no way. I mean, this one passed away in 1883. I can read that. But other than that, I can't. I can't read anything on them. They're too weathered. And I hate that. Let's see, did I get these? Martha Simpson, Oscar Wood, Addie Dodsey. I don't know if I got them or not, but I'll go ahead and get them again. Like I said, this is probably going to be a two part video. 
maybe three parts because it's such a large cemetery. You can see I've just started and it goes over that hill. So I'm sorry if I miss anybody. I don't mean to. I'm gonna try to stop right here here in a second and start a new video. So this is a Susan Hall. I don't think you can see it from the shadow. And this is Abner Hall, and he passed away in 1891. Let me do this little middle piece, and then I will stop this video and start a, start a part two. Hopefully, I can get a lot done with part two. Um, so... Won't be too awful bad. Tune in Anna Kaler. And over there is, is Godfrey and Love. And actually, I have come <laughs> farther than I wanted to right now, but that's okay. Um, Sally, wife of Lester Cooper. I can't see. Looks like she's born in 1838, maybe. Curtis, the son of A. Godfrey, 1919. Can't make out the first name, but she passed away in 1896, 1896, maybe. Okay. So now we'll face this way. This is Meredith, 1889. That one is broke. That one is a merit and they passed away in 1901 but i can't read the first name can you guys see that i hope um josephine patty wife of augustus godfrey and here's augustus and let me watch this one out. and this is nori nora effie godfrey okay and i know i got that one And I got that one. And let's see, did I get this one? This is George and Sarah May. And there's no death date for George, but Sarah passed away in 1922. Let's see, see that one. I like the lettering on that one, the, the font that they used. I'm going to put my shadow on that one, maybe you can see it better. Zelfia Wood Day. Zelfia Wood Day. There you go. I'll get my big head out of it. I'm not going to see it. Okay, got that one. Done got that one. We got Hazel and Theodore. Here's Clement Lafayette Wood and Alice Miller Wood. Okay, I think I got that one. I didn't, that's okay. Now, another Civil War soldier, uh, Sergeant John Davis, Company B, Tennessee Light Artillery, I think, passed away in 1910. Sarah Davis must be his wife. She passed away in 1912. There's a birdie in Charles Davis. Um, this is this one that's facing the other way. I know I didn't get, but it's an infant son of Alice and C.L. Wood. Yeah, just born, just a day old, 1884. Um, now, to this guy, Thomas Carner Carnes passed away in 1911. You see how huge, I mean, he has a boulder. But what I was told, he, Carnes High School is named after this man. Look him up, get the history, make sure I'm right. Uh, but as I was told that the Carnes High School was ma named after Thomas Carner Carnes. So he must have been pretty prominent in this community back then. We got Zerata 
Connor, 1912. Um, this one is, is it Thomas? It may be Thomas Connor. Thomas Connor. I think it's 1860 or 59 born. And the death date's like the 1880s. 1880s, that's an old one. That's an old one. We got Molly Crawford. And this one is, oh, uh, James Reynolds. Yeah, in memory of James Reynolds, 1868 to 1893. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Glenmore Gerald Garrett and his wife Pearl, Pearl sorry, Evelyn Bishop. We have Nancy Carnes, 1898. Charles W. Carnes, okay. Maybe his father, 1819 to 1889. These are some big stones too. Nothing like this folder. That's why I'm saying it could be his parents because it does say mother. So I would say it was his parents. We have straighter, and I'll get to that in a minute. I'm gonna get this one here. Um, Willie Nell, Nellie Barrett, 19, no, 2002, sorry. Passed away in 2002. Okay. Oops, I didn't see that. I didn't knock it over though. Um, there you go. So here is the good that goes to that one. Okay, I'm going to stop this video because we're already in 36 minutes. So I will come right back to uh, do part two. So be sure to tune back in um, and we'll get to some more of these old ones. And hopefully you guys will, won't be too bored. See you part two.